Hello guys, Ryan here, and today I wanted to discuss a little bit of a different topic compared to what I would usually do on this channel. The last time I did a video like this was around maybe chapter 3, season 3, I would like to say, when I discussed why vibing was my least favourite season at the time. God, that opinion has not aged well, but that's besides the point of this video. Point being, today I'm going to be discussing why chapter 5 might already be my least favorite chapter of Fortnite. Now before you dislike this video, let me explain because I have my fair share of reasons and I want this to be known that this is just my opinion. Of course I understand that chapter 5 is a very popular chapter for a lot of people, I understand that there's a lot of new features that people might like about this chapter and trust me that is fine. I'm not here to judge anyone. Today I am just here to discuss my opinions because I thought it would make for a decent video and I've been having these thoughts a lot about the game and I just figured why not let's make a video on it. But with that said let's just get right into this. First off I want to discuss the map. The map while not the worst I will say I am not as big of a fan of it as I was with Chapter 4's map. And that is coming from a guy that did not like the Chapter 4 map all that much. I liked a handful of the locations like Slappy Shores, Breakwater Bay, Shattered Slabs, Lonely Labs, like maybe Brutal Bastion, you know, stuff like that. Steam Steamy Springs. There were a handful of POIs that I did like in that chapter, or at least a decent amount, to the point where I had enough choice to choose from. But with Chapter 5's map, I only genuinely like maybe two or three of the POIs, with my main one being Rebel's Roost, which is realistically just one big building, so it's nothing all that impressive. But even even then, it's like I like maybe one or two other areas, like maybe Classy Courts and maybe Pleasant Piazza, whatever that area is called. I don't even remember the name because it's so weird to pronounce. Point being. I only like like three areas on this map that I would actually consistently consider landing at and I think uh, one of the biggest reasons as to why that is is because of the weird map themes that they've been doing ever since chapter 4. Don't get me wrong I like the idea of having a strict map theme like chapter 4 had the medieval theme, chapter 5 has this weird kind of Greek-ish theme and even though it's a cool idea and concept doesn't work in the end like cool concept on paper not a cool concept when it's being executed why because it makes every area blend together like there are like three to four town POIs that I could not tell you the difference between them besides the fact that there's a boss in one of them like you have like Ritzy Reveria I'm pretty sure the name's called I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it but I do not know how to pronounce half of these POI names if I'm being honest and then you have Pleasant Piazza like I just said and then you also have like what's it called Snooty Steps I'm pretty sure the area with the Peter Griffin boss <laughs> <laughs> but joke jokes aside, you have like those three areas, right? Actually tell me the difference between all three of them. Like, layout wise, building wise, tell me the difference between all three of them. Excluding Peter Griffin being in one of them. They all look the same. The only difference is their location on the map and maybe the layout. The buildings are identical. It is ridiculous like it feels like we're back in chapter one in the sense that they have very limited resources so they just reuse completely just already used areas across the map multiple times only difference is the game was in beta back then battle royale was crafted in like two months so they had an excuse or like two weeks maybe i don't remember point being it was made in a very short amount of time so they kind of had an excuse to copy and paste areas back then. But like, why do we have nowadays three areas that have identical prefabs and like stuff like that? It's just why just it, it, it just does not make the map memorable in my opinion. And it is just so unbelievably forgettable. Like the, the amount of times my friend has asked me to land at Snoopy Steps, whatever the area is called with the Peter Griffin boss. And I've mistaken it for like Ritzy Bavaria. My god, I can probably already count more than 10 times. I literally need more than two hands to count the amount of times I have mistaken those areas for one another. It is ridiculous. And 
even though I like the idea of having a themed map, does not work in the end for the POI quality of life. The second reason I am not a big fan of Chapter 5 is the movement. The movement is just abysmal. A A A triple A abysmal. What were they thinking here, man? Like, like I'm sorry, Epic. I usually try my absolute hardest to look at both sides of the spectrum here. I usually always try and defend you guys as much as I can. But I just don't understand the logic behind the change here. Like, I get it, the animation side of things, sure, maybe you want to finally spice things up. And even though I don't like the new animations as much as the old ones, I can at least understand why they would want to finally try and change them. But the movement speed changes? Why? Just... Why? Why? Why, 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 why? Like, I, I, I truly I do not see the reasoning for completely changing the movement of Fortnite. The core mechanic of the game besides building and shooting. Why change the movement? Like, I truly am just baffled. Like, close to a month into the season, maybe even a month into the season now. And I still have no idea why they would make this change besides just wanting to change it. Like, it is the definition. I think the biggest example yet Fortnite has had in the six plus years it's been around of if it wasn't broken, don't fix it. And yet they still quote unquote fixed it. I just do not understand why they did this, man. Like, the movement now just feels like it's like... PUBG or something like it, 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 like it feels like what I would imagine PUBG to feel like like the movement now feels like what PUBG looks like to me in the sense of its movement like it just looks stiff it looks clunky it doesn't feel smooth at all and it just doesn't feel fun to play with and no offense to PUBG I don't know if that's actually how that game feels to play but just based on what it looks like Fortnite's movement feels like how that looks to me. That's the best way I can describe it without you guys trying it for yourselves. Especially if you used the old movement prior to chapter 5 and you understand how it is meant to feel. I just don't like the new movement at all. Especially for builds. Like, in zero build it kind of works better because you have the sharper turning or whatever, but like... For builds, I just... I cannot believe how bad it feels i like building just feels slow clunky it just doesn't feel like they even tested it with builds at all it really feels like this chapter was solely designed for zero build and they didn't even remember builds existed which is shocking because that's literally their main mode it's the mode that made their game as popular as it is and it just feels like these changes weren't even even close to compatible with that mode and number three is the loot pool. The loot pool this season is just not even bad, but I think the main thing that makes the loot pool bad is the fact that every weapon has been transformed besides shotguns so that they're all projectile based. That means that not a single weapon in the game now is hit scan besides shotguns. So that means your ARs, your SMGs, even your pistols, you need to aim based on the bullet drop you can't just lock onto the enemy with your crosshair and then as soon as you click boom you hit the target you need to lead your shots depending on how far away you are from the enemy and sometimes even from close range you'll notice that your bullets don't instantly hit the enemy it takes a little bit and in my opinion my god that just absolutely throws me off man like, after six years, well, five years for me because I started on day one of the Switch release of the game. So, for me, I started on June 12th, 2018. But, you get the point. After five years of playing this game, over five years of hit-scan weapons, basically, exclusively, besides a handful of weapons that have been projectile-based, like snipers. You can't just expect me to get used to every weapon being projectile-based after five years of playing with hit scan weapons. Like, it's bad enough that we transitioned into the first person weapon meta with chapter three. Like, that was already a hard enough, like, learning curve after so many years of knowing Fortnite for being a third person shooter. But 
I got used to that. But this... This is something I can't get used to. I'm sorry. I can't. Like, I've kind of adjusted to it. But that's not to say I prefer it. Not in the slightest. And the fact that I know Epic can change this to hit scan at any moment. Because I'm pretty sure Fire Monkey, specifically one of the leakers in the community, actually proved that there, that there are files in, files in the game that allow Epic to transform the weapons into hit scan at any moment through a hotfix. They can update their weapons at any time. Like right now, as I'm recording this, they could update the weapons right now and make them hit scan again. In the files they can easily do it the files are there ready for them to be transformed at any second and we're just here knowing that information stuck with these projectile based weapons and it just feels so bad after five years half a decade of playing with hit scan weapons knowing fortnite for that meta and they just throw the game out the window basically and completely make it a different experience it's like I respect what they were trying to do, but my god, it just does not work for me. And while I'm on the topic of the loot pool, I guess I might as well include the attachments in this discussion. And honestly, I'm not a fan of them either. I have been scared of these things coming to the game ever since they were leaked back in like early chapter 2. Like, these have been discussed since before car attachments with like the chonkers tires and the cow catchers even got introduced like they have been leaked for years and i have been scared ever since because i just was not a fan of the idea of attachments in fortnite i don't think they fit the game i didn't think it was gonna work just for the way that fortnite works and even though they made it work in a way that i'm surprised they did honestly like i was expecting it to just be attachments that you'd find from random chests in the loot pool and it would be super weird but no, they are their own like individual thing. You have to go out of your way to like buy them from vaults. It's like it's clean the way that they introduced them. But do I like it? No. And it's not even a fault of the attachments themselves. I guess it is more or less just a preference thing. But I am not a fan of attachments. Not only because you know they just really overcomplicate the game way more than it needs to be, but. Also, just because they make some weapons absurdly OP. Like, my god, the Reaper Sniper Rifle? My word. There are certain scopes that you can use that I'm pretty sure even straight up just disables the sniper glare on your sniper. So, you know, from a distance, you won't get that huge glare anymore that lets people know you're there if they look in your direction. There are certain scopes that just straight up remove that from the sniper. I don't even know if that's intentional, but it's a thing. And then you can also add a suppressor to the sniper, so combine that with your lack of sniper glare, if you choose the right scope, and boom, you're basically solid snake using a sniper rifle. Like, it is ridiculous how OP attachments can be on certain weapons. And the worst part is that we're getting augments back from chapter 4 later in the season, so we're going to have even more complication in the loot pool, because we're going to have augments on top of attachments that already overcomplicate the game and make weapons op and then we're gonna have augments that also give you perks and you know weapon buffs and buffs to your character and stuff like that and then we also have other stuff in the game that does that like the medallions that heal your health and it's like oh my god when does it end it's like you it's like you split up the legendary slurp juice from chapter four and split it into five different op categories it is just oh my god god it's not only complicated but it is op it is confusing like i just it hurts my brain it hurts my actual brain guys and i just i just don't know i don't know i don't think i will ever be able to adjust to chapter five like i'm still gonna keep on playing of course but the burnout I'm feeling from this game because of all of this stuff is just insane, man. Like, I truly think this might end up going down as one of my least favourite chapters, if not my least favourite chapter, by the end of it. Because, just, it doesn't feel like Fortnite. At least with Chapter 4, yeah, augments are a little bit, you know, a bit of a gold waster sometimes. But, at least they still felt like Fortnite. You know, it felt like something they would do. They, they were simple enough to understand. I'm sorry, I just hit my mic if you heard that. Point being, you know, 
they were easy enough to understand, it made sense, but this chapter just doesn't feel like Fortnite at all. The movement has changed, the weapon bullet, just the way the weapons work have changed, whatever you would want to describe it as, you know, you have attachments, augments are coming back, which honestly I don't mind because it's one of the few things I actually kind of enjoyed about chapter 4, but still. Point being, the game's just super confusing right now, and I truly think this might go down as one of my least favourite seasons, depending on just how it goes by the end of it. Like, mainly, like, just because it doesn't feel like Fortnite, mainly because of the movement. The movement is one of my biggest criticisms with this season, but everything else is still just so weird. Like, weapons no longer being hit scan, just attachments making weapons way too OP. It's just a mess, and that is just my opinion on Chapter 5 so far. I'm happy for you guys if you have been enjoying the chapter, but for me, this is some of the biggest burnout I have been feeling with Fortnite in the history of playing the game, in my 5 plus years of playing it. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I have to end up taking a break at some point. Like, I will let you guys know if I do decide on taking a break at any point you know, on my community tab, on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it now, I will discuss when I do decide to take a break, but, you know, we'll see what happens there. I also have a variety channel now, so if I do ever take a break, I will still be uploading there, most likely, in, unless I decide it's going to be like a universal break across all my channels, but chances are if I do take a break from this channel I will still upload on my variety channel so if you guys want to give that channel a look maybe even you know throw a subscribe over there let me know because I would appreciate all the support I can get on that channel I have been having a blast recording videos for it I mainly make Nintendo slash Mario content over on that channel right now but I do plan on eventually expanding my content beyond that but I'm just having so much fun making videos on those kind of games right now to the point where it's basically all I do but we'll see where you know the channel goes it's still a new channel i made it in october so there's still a lot of experimentation to do with it but either way you know if you want to go show that channel some support you know give it some likes maybe throw a subscribe over there let me know and i will be sure to thank you because i would really appreciate all the support that i can get on that channel i'm definitely going to try and uh get that channel monetized at 1k subscribers as soon as possible that's kind of my goal right now i want to see if i can get that channel monetized faster than i got this channel monetized that's kind of like my own self-given goal right now so who knows maybe you guys can help me on that journey especially if you want to see more content from me if i do end up going on a break on the main channel so you know no pressure but i would appreciate it and i think that's going to do it for this video guys i just wanted to sit down today and discuss why chapter 5 has been such a hassle for me and why it just hasn't been for me and i'm sorry if that disappoints some of you guys or maybe even epic i don't know why they would be watching this but if they are i'm sorry guys but i don't know for me it's just not what i want from fortnite and if you guys are enjoying it that's fine by me i'm happy for you and i hope you continue enjoying the game but for me this has been one of the hardest season launches to date because of all of these changes. And I didn't even bring up some of the other stuff like the UI changes. But honestly, that could be for an entirely different video. I have so many opinions on that. And honestly, I might even make one in the foreseeable future. Who knows? But for now, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Chapter 5 because those were just mine. And again, they were just my opinions. So don't take this video seriously in the sense that you know you have to agree with me or it's just wrong because that's not the case my opinions here aren't right or wrong they're just mine so keep that in mind when watching this video uh, but i'm assuming if you've made it to this point you've watched the video already so i don't even know what i'm saying at this point but before i ramble any longer i'm just gonna end the video here guys thank you all for watching as always i hope you all enjoyed and as always peace out